Welcome back. Now, this show plucks stars out of their native habitat and drops them smack bang in the middle of a rock concert, whether they like it or not. Now, it's taken golf pro Scott Draper a couple of weeks to loosen up and find his groove, but we all agree he's come a fair way. He's, he's so convincing when he sings that if you close your eyes, you can really see Steven Tyler or even a John Travolta. And tonight, for a real treat, you'll be able to picture the poodle-esque, permed bouffant of one of the greatest hairdos of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bolton. For all the latest, let's check out what's happening down on the green. I think it was a great performance. You could obviously tell both of us were nervous, but it was great. That performance for me was sheer terror, excitement, <laughs> just blood rushing awesomeness. I don't know how to describe it. It was really a lot of fun. The judges had great comments. You used your lower range perfectly in unison with Ricky's falsetto, and for me, it proved it does take two. It was great. <laughs> Beautiful morning. It is, it's actually really nice. There's actually a lot more to it than just smashing the ball, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. 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 Just like singing. Just like singing. <laughs> it is great to sort of finally get Ricky Lee into my world and make things a little bit easy for me because she's always going, singing is easy, you just go la 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 and do it. Here I'm going, just grab it like this, you swing it like this, just spank it down ah, the middle. That's all right. And it's that's easy. Not bad. I totally, completely, 100 percent understand where his drive and his passion and focus comes from. You know, it takes a lot to be able to hit that ball straight. This is going in one ear and out the other. She's like, can we just go to sleep now? I think I should just stick to driving the buggy. This week we are doing How Am I Supposed to Live Without You by Michael Bolton. I love just getting there and fist pumping and belting it out. Yeah, he's, he's a good belter too. It sounds really nice as a duet. Our voices work quite nicely together and I think it's going to be a great performance. I don't know how I'm going to live without you, baby. I just don't know. No, I no, just don't know. <laughs> yes, Ricky Lee, there is a bit more to it than just smashing the ball. Lucky Scott's picked up a bit more about singing than she is about golf and taking on our first battle of the night is Scott and Ricky Lee. <laughs> When I heard the news today I had to come and get it straight from you So tell me all about it Tell me about the plans you're making oh, Tell me one thing more before I go tell I love the way you clap him and cuddle him like you're his biggest groupie. I'm so proud oh, of yeah. him. Uh, like, thank you. That was awesome. Last week you had some of the biggest scores, some of the best comments from the judges. She's really rubbing off on you. How much has she changed you as a person? This is a special woman right here. She, she sure is. Really is. Here, yeah. here. 
I'm, I'm just learning so much from her. She is just such a great performer. She's a special human being. I'm actually going to see her this Saturday at Seagulls. I'm going to watch how You've it's done. You've got to come and jump up I, and sing. I'm, well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I'm going to see how it's done. <laughs> oh, okay. Rather than me just being here, sort of getting in the way, you just go and just you know, <laughs> nail okay. it. Okay. And, man, how good are you at ballads? Are you, are they a little worried about maybe doing too many of them in the judges' eyes? I don't know, I just love ballads. I think definitely came from when my first wife Kelly passed away in 99 and I used to get on the floor in front of the stereo and just belt out ballads and it was just great therapy for me with a glass of wine and I just love that feeling of, I don't know, the passion inside it and I just wish I'd get rid of the nerves though. It's so hard to get out here and be comfortable and relaxed and oh, it's just out of your comfort zone, which is what the show's all about. Good job, though. A really great good. cathartic experience for you and a great bit of enjoyment and, and fantastic entertainment for us as well as we head over to our judges. Amanda, take it away. Well, I'd have to say, Michael Bolton normally would make me puke. Oh, <laughs> it's like eating spam. It's just revolting. But you, Scott, have an amazing knack of choosing great songs for yourself. Wasn't it terrific? Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. I think you, you picked up your confidence when your upper register went up. But, darling, I've just got a terrible feeling you've hit your peak. Yeah? I've got more. No. I've got, got more. more? i got more. I hope so. Mm. Take it away, Ross. Well, Scott, you're our melody man. Very impressive. Each week, uh, you and Ricky Lee seem to pick a song that demonstrates your range. And now what you've got to do is fine-tune that. Because you're not on pitch all the way. And for this kind of song in particular, that's essential. But uh, very good. Thank you. Congratulations. And with a bomb that you form, you can't live without her. She can't live without you. And we'd love to keep you in the competition. So head backstage while we share. Your voting details with Australia, so to vote for Scott, SMS Scott to 191977 if you can't live without Ricky Lee or Scott in your life, or on this show, or dial 1902 557714, Erica. People all over Australia are going to need a towel down after that massive ballad <laughs> effort. Do you feel good? Do you feel relieved? Oh, it's just such a good feeling to get there and just belt that out. I mean, I love sort of Michael Bolton and I hope I did him justice. There's Nothing wrong guy. with that. Yeah. Now, last week, Marina was concerned that you weren't able to connect with the audience as well as you were connecting with the song. Do you picture the audience that you sing to while you're out there or do you picture people naked? Does it work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it'll just make I don't know where to go with that one. Yeah, um, I think it is definitely important to try and connect with the song, and, and because we're just amateurs, it's hard to sort of get in that zone straight away. You just come out, got a minute forty-five to try and produce the goods, and it's just not as easy as it looks. Are you getting a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera? I am, week to week, and that's part of the show. It's a journey, and I'm having a ball. All right. Well, I know I can't live any longer without knowing what the judges think. <laughs> Marina Pryor. Seven. <laughs> James Valentine. Seven. Amanda Pellman. Six. And Ross Wilson. Seven. You just wait till the audience votes roll in. You got nothing to worry about, right, Grant?